this was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. alone. Wow. Tom Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led... Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. Tom big jump, but Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. Come, come. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let... <laughs> Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but... The might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No, too obvious. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. What was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place?
Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point.